Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we'll see what is the fundamental theorem for divergence. So before going into that theorem, let's see what is the divergence of V. How do, how do we arrive at this equation? That is del of V, we write it as del V X upon del X plus del V Y upon del Y plus del V Z upon del Z. So that comes from this del operator which we saw in the previous video. So the dot product of del with this vector v will give us this equation. Okay. So this is the del operator on the left hand side. So del y del x into vx. So the differentiation, partial differentiation of vx with respect to x and similar for vy and vz. So this is the divergence of V. So now let's see what is the geometrical interpretation of this divergence. That is the divergence of a vector. For example, I have a vector V which is equal to y square into x cap plus 2xy plus z square into y cap plus 2yz into z cap. This is my vector v. So if you apply this formula on this v, you get this answer. Okay, 2 into x plus y. So the divergence of this vector is some scalar value, which is 2 times x plus y. So based on the values of x and y, the del dot v can be positive or negative value. If it is minus 3, this is 2, then minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, so this would be minus 2. Or else, if it is plus 3 and minus 2, it would be 2. Okay. So depending on this, what is this value means? What is minus 2 and plus 2? So that is the question. So let's say this V is a velocity of a water. Okay. So there is a water flowing here. And this is a point. So if the divergence of this single vector at this point is negative, it means the vector is coming towards the sink. Okay, so this point is sink. So the divergence of a vector at a point gives us whether the point is a sink or it is a source. So the divergence of a vector at a point is positive it means the point is a source so I have a source here and this is my vector v which is velocity of a water if the divergence at this point is positive it means the water is flowing outward okay is diverging outwards that is spreading out if it is negative it means the water is diverging inside towards the sink okay so that is the definition of divergence of a vector keeping this in mind let's jump on to fundamental theorem for divergence the fundamental theorem for divergence states that integral of divergence of vector v over a volume v is equal to the surface integral of the vector v. Okay, so that is the theorem. This is called as fundamental theorem for divergence. So let's make sense of what this is. So consider this surface, let's uh, start with RHS, so this is our surface, 
and we have a small area here which is BA okay so this BA the vector is pointing in this direction that is normal to the surface so let's say the surface is here so the normal vector will be this so this is our da over a small area so this is a small area and the vector normal to that surface is da okay we have taken a small area in this surface s so that in that area da is a vector which is normal to this surface so note that this v dot da is a dot product so v dot da will give us magnitude of v and magnitude of da which is 1 and cosine of angle between them so if the vector v is in parallel with da then the angle is 0 it means we get v cos 0 which is v okay this is called as flux through surface s okay suppose if the vector is flowing in a direction perpendicular to da like this then dot product of v dot da will be zero because theta is 90 degree so cos 90 is zero it means the total flux through this surface is zero so the right hand side which is surface integral of v will give us the total flux through surface s okay this is total flux through surface S which is a part of this big region okay there is a volume inside it we are only concentrating on this surface okay so a right hand side will give us the total flux through surface S so coming to the left hand side of the equation of a fundamental theorem for divergence we have a integral of divergence of a vector v over a volume v okay so this is a cylinder we have a vector v which is a velocity vector of a liquid so inside this volume over the entire volume of this cylinder we are calculating what is the divergence of V at all the points in this volume okay so we are saying that is equal to the total flux through S okay so let me reiterate what is the divergence of V so the divergence of V at any point P will give us the spreading out of the vectors from that point so if the divergence of the vector v at point p is positive it means the vector is spread, spreading out from that point and if the divergence of the vector v that value is negative at this point it means the vectors are the vector v is diverging in okay so uh, the same case let's take this example we have a cylinder here uh, this one is better right so I have 
a cylinder and over this surface there are some two points so this is a vector v which is the velocity vector of a liquid so the flow of liquid can be represented by this vector v which gives both magnitude and direction as you can see the divergence of this vector of a liquid at this point is positive that's why it is spreading out from this area okay uh, spreading out from this point okay if you consider this as a point similarly I have drawn here that the divergence is positive so all the liquid is flowing out so the divergence measures the spreading out of the vectors from that point uh, I have taken a new page so what I was saying was place of high divergence means that the vectors are spreading out from that point okay so in this case our vector is nothing but a velocity of a liquid velocity of a liquid so I have a cylinder here and there are three points from which the liquid is coming from so this is uh, the divergence of this vector at these three points are positive it means the vector is spreading out so it is acting like a source these are the source the points are source okay these are points these three points act as source okay this is surface yes and this is my source okay to calculate how much liquid is coming out of these three source what I can do is I can calculate the divergence of this vector over this volume V okay because this is a cylinder if I have multiple points from which the liquid is originating and going forward okay I can calculate the divergence of V over this volume V okay here only there are three points so I can do del O that is divergence of V1 plus divergence of V2 etc for a whole volume we can just put an integral okay so this is my left hand side so this gives me total liquid flow from point of origins okay so I can calculate the total liquid flow from the point of origins by calculating the divergence of the vector over an entire volume or I can calculate using the surface integral of the vector V so the surface integral of vector V gives me the total flux to that surface yes because whatever liquid is coming or originating from this point should cross this circle and go out okay so whatever if I want to calculate the total liquid which is originating I can either calculate it here using the left hand side or calculate it here so that is what the fundamental theorem of divergence is that is integral of uh, sorry integral of divergence over a volume V is equal to the total flux over the surface S so this is the fundamental theorem of 
for divergence. So this we will be using while studying Gauss law. Okay. So if you have any doubts from this lecture, please use the comment section. Uh, great effort is being put in making these lectures. So please support us. Thank you.